Wesley Person is a standout on the Troy University men's basketball team. Coming in as a freshman starter, basketball is his focus, but he also excels off the court. Person has the second highest GPA on the team due to his focus on grades. Um, it's a big deal to me. Um, classroom always comes first, and just to you know be able to you know translate it from high school to college, you know the good grades. It's been good. For Person, the transition from high school classrooms to the college classroom was not as difficult as he thought it would be. Um, college classes are way tougher. You know, it's just just a lot more hands-on. Um, a lot more studying you have to do, um, but I've enjoyed it to the most part. Um, it hasn't been too tough, but I expect, I really expect it to be a lot harder. Person's teachers noticed his academic performance, and one teacher said he was constantly striving to do his best. Wesley was an exceptional student. He was very well received by the, the other students in the classroom. Um, he was not afraid to ask questions when he needed help. Um, his his demeanor was very pleasant. He was prompt. Um, I have the utmost respect for him as far as a, a student. Not only does he balance basketball and class, on top of all of that, Person is also pledging a fraternity, and he knows just what to do to keep the balance. Mainly just have your priorities straight. Um, basketball is the reason I'm here, so that's what I'm going to put most time into, but I also want to put the same amount of time into the classroom. And then fraternity is something I just started this semester, so I'm putting, putting some time into that, and hopefully I'll become a you know, brother there. The key component in balancing all these is communication, and the fraternity president said person is going over and beyond what he needs to do. He's really, honestly, like the core of it is communication. So, like, we obviously know the basketball schedule and everything, and he's really communicated to uh, Austin Clark, a membership educator, kind of like when he has time commitments, when he doesn't have time commitments and stuff like that. But like I said, even outside of the mandatory things, as far as pledge class and other events like that, he's been coming to the, coming to the house and just hanging out with the guys and just getting to know him and everything like that and um, kind of on the other side of that we've really been supportive of him as a chapter like last night we wanted to go to the basketball game as a chapter and as a pledge class and everything so it's really great for us to be able to support him and both Easterling and Cole said that person's ability on the court has translated to the classroom his work ethic that is seen on the court is very um, much carried over into the classroom he was always like I said before he was prompt to class he was very prepared for class um, when he needed help, he was not afraid to ask. He was very much a leader in the classroom, um, just as he is on the basketball court. During pledge ship, that's one of the things we do have a minimum GPA requirement, and he is far and above that right now. Um, but he's just done an awesome job just with working with, with everyone and just communicating openly to us in the chapter, kind of what's going on, and we've been more than happy to support him. It's really awesome to see him out there doing great things. For the Sunbelt Rise program, I'm Troy University senior Amy Alston.